Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bria. And today I look like shit. I just woke up. But, oh yeah, literally, I just woke up. Look at it, my bags. Okay, anyways. I thought I'd do like a get ready with me morning routine kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I've been really liking my makeup and the way I've been doing it lately. So I thought I'd show you guys because you know I'm a nice person like that. And yeah, so it's a Sunday morning. It's kind of cloudy out. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys like how I've been doing my hair, my outfit, you know, like my morning, my morning. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started with the video. I'm gonna make this bed here. Time lapse. <laughs> tripod is for my phone so we're gonna do my skincare on the floor um so I washed my face last night so what I usually do is I wash my face at night and I don't use a cleanser in the morning um just because it like washes away your natural oils or something like that at least that's what I've heard but I do use a toner and the toner I'm using is the, the Henriksen Balance Toner. I love this toner, you guys. This has been a ride or die for me for a couple of years now. As you can see, I'm breaking out. I don't know why. I'm done with school, so I don't know why I'm breaking out. It could be stress, but whatever. And then I just don't go over my face. Um, yeah, so I'm done junior year of college. Crazy. I'm a senior in college. So I only have one full semester left on campus. And then my spring semester, I'll be on internship, which is crazy. Well, hopefully I'll be on internship with all this coronavirus stuff going on, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be on campus next semester, which is gonna be very sad because I wouldn't be able to finish my career on campus, which sucks, um, but yeah. Um, also, these are from Target, and they're the exfoliating ones, so one side is a little bit bumpy, and then one side's smooth. I use the bumpy side just because I like how it feels. Okay. So once that's done, I use my Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I'm being like a fancy beauty guru here this morning. Can you even tell? Yeah, okay. It's not really focusing, but it's whatever. Um, I take a couple of drops. Boop, boop, boop. I really do like this oil a lot. I bought it because I bought the booty facial from Drunk Elephant. And you're supposed to use this right after it. Uh, I really like it. It keeps me hydrated all day. I really do notice it like it's like helping my skin out a lot too with like hydration and smoothness and stuff. So I do really like this oil, like look at that glow already. Okay. So after that's on, I take my moisturizer. I love Ula Henriksen skincare, you guys. Ula Henriksen uh, Sea Rush Brightening Gel. I have combo skin, so like the gel works better than like, they have a new one and it's like a cream and it's like double hydration because it's more for drier skin, so. So once that's on, I use this um, Dr. Jart uh, Seeker Repair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I got this as a reward from uh, Sephora. And so it's really tiny. This one isn't as tiny as like the mini size that you can actually get. But I do like this actually. I've noticed a big difference in my makeup for sure. I don't know if you're supposed to use it day and night though. Cause if it's day and night, then I'd probably know a better difference or see a bigger difference in my face, but I know it helps me for my makeup in the morning, so. Mm -hmm. 
And then last but not least, eye cream. I used the Origins one, Origins Ginseng Brightening Cream. But I've heard good things about both. So, I'm gonna pat that in. And skincare is done. Um, not that long. I might do it really quick actually, like in the morning morning. Not in the morning, morning, but like when I'm not filming, obviously. But um, I usually do put chapstick on too, but I'm going to eat breakfast soon, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but once I do that, I usually go do my hair because I like to let this like sink into my skin before I like put makeup on top of it. So we're going to go straighten my hair because this isn't cutting it today. I'll see you guys after I'm done straightening my hair. Okay. So it's been a few hours. I had breakfast. We're good. Duncan, essential. So, hair's all done. Skincare's obviously sunken in. It's almost noon, so you know it's fine. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup really quick. My go-to ever since quarantine started. Um, did my brows off camera just because it's easier. But if you're wondering, I use the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and neutral brown is my color i like it i kind of like the darker brows because obviously my roots are darker because you know i haven't got my hair done in two months but you know it's fine but so we're gonna get started um i'm gonna curl my eyelashes i just brushed them out with the spoolie really quick you know to get all the you know them all evened out and i'm gonna curl them really quick <laughs> and then so the curled super quick this has been my go-to like mascara thing lately so i've been taking the maybelline great lash clear mascara i really really like this one and i use this as like my primer for my mascara um so i'm gonna put like a quick layer of this on I put it on like I like I would my normal mascara. Can you even see me? No, you definitely can't. So once that first coat's on. I let that dry and then I start doing my face makeup because I put I let this like clear coat dry and then I put a super thin layer of my black mascara on which I'll show you when we get there but we're gonna let this like cool off and dry and I'm gonna go into my face makeup which is super simple which I really really like um so first things first I'm gonna go in with my banana bright primer from Ula Henriksen I love this stuff. I don't know why I just did a cap in there. This is probably my favorite primer I've ever used, if I'm being honest with you. Um, one thing I don't like about it is that it pills up kind of quick. Um, I don't know, it kind of just like balls up. So I don't know if I'm using too much or what, but that's the one thing I don't like about it. But I just end up patting it in if I feel like it's starting to like, you know, pill up and get gross. And then I use my Tarte Poreless Primer. I love this one. Oh, Timeless Smoothing Primer. So good. And just get a little bit. And I use it obviously on my porous areas, which is like my nose, my cheeks area, and around my. Um, what do you call this? My. T zone, I guess. I don't know. Okay. That looks good. Super simple. And then 
my tape. Hold on, there we go. And then I use NARS Radiant Concealer. I love this concealer, you guys. It's so good. Um, I use vanilla because it's like closer to my skin tone. So I spot conceal with that. And I don't wear any foundation. And I'm finally getting to a place where I like my, you know, if I have a little bit of redness going on, which I do. That's why I started using that corrector in the morning. Um, so I use vanilla as like a spot concealer and like overall foundation. And then I use... I think it's Chantilly is how you say it. I use that as my under eye concealer. So, I'm going to take vanilla first. And as you can see, I'm breaking out just a little bit. Mostly on my chin, which is kind of annoying, but... It's fine. I think I got a little spot here and here. A few little, you know bloops on my forehead. I wish I had my... Get it again. I had like a phone clip for my tripod, but I don't know where it went. Because I got a fancy camera for Christmas and I love my camera. So I got, I think I got rid of that part of my tripod and I don't know where I put it. So I'm sitting on my floor. Which is fine, I don't mind sitting on my floor and doing my makeup, but it's just like, I would rather sit at my vanity, but whatever, it's fine. And we're just gonna blend it out really quick. I'm just going to take a little more and kind of like go over spots that are more prominent, you know? It's really very good. My, yeah, I don't know why my chin's like freaking out, but my chin is just kind of like not having my acne anymore. And then I'm going to take like a brush and like, so it gives it more coverage. Has anyone else just been doing their makeup just for fun? Like, I feel like now that I'm out of school, not out of school, but you know, like not in school currently because I finished, but like I was just doing my makeup like for fun. So I feel like I'm productive because I don't really do much throughout the day anymore. <laughs> Alright, use Chantilly to highlight your face and blend it in. Dude, I am so ingenious. I can't believe, like, so this is a stool that my mirror's on that I use for my vanity. But I was obviously wasn't using it. Freaking genius. Now my mirror is resting on it, so I don't have to hold it anymore. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want like a update video for college. I'd love to film one. I'm super down to film one. But I think it's important to, you know, shed some light on how much of a struggle this was for me mentally and physically. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want a college update video. If you want like a mental health update or like a, you know, any kind of update. I just want to talk. Maybe a Q&A, college Q&A, mental health Q&A. Let me know down below. And I'm so down to film one. I'd love to talk about it. Okay. 
So after all that's done, blend it in, you're all good. Then I take my ColourPop stuff. Uh, I don't know. This is the sheer powder, I think. I can't get it out. I don't have the strength for that right now. This is my color, I think, Fair. Uh, I don't even know why I've used it for a while. And take my Morphe brush and I just set under my eyes with this one. Just because it's super sheer and it's really, it's like lighter. You know, just set the under eyes so they don't crease on you. It's kind of a gloomy day out today. I'm not really feeling it. It's not raining, but it's just like really cloudy and not fun. But this weather should be good. Very excited this week. I turned 21. Even though I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Um, I'll be 21. And I'll be partying at home with my family. And I'm going to have a lot of fun. Even though I'll be stuck inside all day. But hey. I'm going to take the good with the bad. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. So good. I love this color. I love this stuff. I sometimes just wear this like on its own. With like my primer. And then I just use this instead. Maybe a little bit of under eye concealer. And this is the color Y225. And then I kind of just dab it in. Especially over where my redness is. You know it adds that coverage that I didn't cake on with my concealer. But I'll cake on with powder. <laughs> okay. So once that's pretty much done. Guys, this is super quick. I'm not even kidding. I'm almost done. Okay. And then I take my ColourPop stuff again. And I use... I think this is Private Party. I'm gonna look. Yes, Private Party. It's a very pretty bronzer. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Which is nice. And then... I take this Real Techniques brush, blush brush, even though I use it for bronzer because I don't wear blush. You know, dab it in, tap a lot of it off because it's a little bit dark for me. And then, really light mountains. I don't wear a lot of bronzer, but I do wear some just to bring some life back into the skin, you know? After putting on all that powder. My makeup is so not fancy, you guys. I just do my makeup to, you know, give me some coverage and make me not look like I didn't do anything today and, like, make me look like a dead ghost. So, just a little bit is all you need. And I put a little bit on my nose. Just kind of just fluff it on my nose. A little bit on my jaw. I just push it down. What have your outfits been like? Have they been like somewhat okay? Have they been, you know, big t-shirts? Because that's all I've worn. This, a couple weeks ago, literally all I wore was big t-shirts and shorts. Because I really didn't feel like... You know, looking okay. I'm not leaving to impress anybody, so why should I just, you know, why should I try and impress somebody with my outfit? I'm not going anywhere, I'm just staying in the house, you know? Stay comfy. And also, it's warming up in Massachusetts, finally. Finally feels like spring. We had a really bad rainstorm the other night, it was kind of scary. Lightning storm, tornado watches. I know there's been scary tornadoes in like Tennessee and stuff like that so I'm not like bashing those ones but it's really rare in Massachusetts to get like tornadoes and stuff especially while where I live I live in like central mass north central mass I guess you could call it but I'm gonna put a lot of highlighter on <laughs> this is the Anastasia I'm using one I love this highlighter so much and then I take my ColourPop stuff again. I love ColourPop, you guys. I love their stuff. I haven't been able to shop there recently. Because, you know, I'm trying to save up the money that I'm getting. But I haven't been able to get some stuff. But I take, I don't remember what highlighter this is. But I put it in my inner corners. Again, to make me look alive and not dead. Just a little bit.
<laughs> Boom. Perfect. Okay. So then, face is done. Like, all the powders and stuff are pretty much done. And then I go in and set my eyebrows with my elf. What's this called? Wow brow. <laughs> brow gel. And this is also in the color gentle brown. And yeah, just fluff it through. Not too much because I don't want my eyebrows to be too dark. But yeah. Just a quick fluff through just to set them in place, you know. Give you some volume. Okay, so now mascara time. I'm so excited. I love mascara. Okay, so taking my Tarte Eyelash Curler again. I'm going to curl them just a little bit, not too much because I curled them earlier. And I still have that clear mascara on. It's pretty dry right now. So that's done. And then this is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Mascara. I love this mascara. That's what it looks like. It's so good. I love it. Not clumpy at all. Sorry for the really mascara face. <laughs> you just put a light layer of this on. Honestly, what I've been noticing through quarantine, not quarantine, but just in general, the less mascara, the better, because, I mean, clearly I'm not listening to my own advice, but, for two mascaras, but, I like the clear one as a primer for it, and then this, my actual mascara is like a, you know, my actual mascara, <laughs> and I find that my curl holds a lot longer, so, I really like that mascara, and this mascara is good on its own, too, like, I only started that clear mascara trend like a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, so I'm going to curl this eye. Do the same thing. So top lashes are done, and then I go in with the clear one on the bottom. Just bottom lash mascara, like with the next one, just really like bothers me. I don't really like wearing mascara on the bottom of my lashes, just because I feel like it flakes more on me that way. So I like the clear one because it like darken doesn't darken them, but like it makes them noticeable. Cause I had do have like lighter lashes, lash hair, <laughs> lashes. I don't really know. And then sometimes I do lip gloss, sometimes I do chapstick, but today we're gonna get fancy and we're gonna use lip gloss. We're gonna use the Fenty lip gloss, the original gloss bomb. I'm waiting, not waiting, I would love to get the clear one. I love the gloss bomb, you guys. We're gonna set the face. Guys, this is such a mess down here, you don't even wanna know what it looks like. Okay, set my face using my fan. <laughs> it's just a car that I got from uh, Eyeshadow Box. And then Urban Decay All Nighter, the OG setting spray for me. jewelry on and I'm good to go I'm done for the day I'll show you my outfit come with me okay so again literally like I said I don't really give a shit on what I look like so 
I'm just gonna go with whatever I'm feeling. So again, the shirt was from Maine when I went, York Beach, Maine. It's a big t-shirt dress here. There we go. T-shirt dress. I don't really care what I look like. Again, I'm not impressing anybody, but these shorts are from H&M. They're super comfy, they're navy blue. These are like the PJ shorts. They got pockets, they're super comfy. And yeah, it's pretty much my outfit. Again, I straighten my hair, looking all fancy and good to go. All right, so that is pretty much the end of this video. Let's get ready with my video. Let me know if you want more of these kind of videos. I love filming Get Ready With Me is. Maybe we'll make it more of a chatty one. I mean, this one was pretty chatty, but like maybe the Q&A or something like that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're wearing makeup, if you're not wearing makeup, if you really don't give a crap on what you look like, because I don't. But, you know, I feel prettier and with straight hair and makeup on, so who doesn't? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below how you're dealing with quarantine. How's your life doing? We'll have a rant sesh down below. Let me know. We'll chat. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I just hit 100 subscribers the other week, so yay. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking me because I like me too sometimes. And yeah, so. Also, I'm gonna take a minute. Okay, and then also push the notification bell so you know when I upload videos in the future. I'm gonna try and upload more, but I got a busy summer schedule, so we'll see how that goes. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.